Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today we are solving Round and Round by Philip Newman. This was originally posted in the Gas Channel on July 23rd, 2024. So it is a between lines quadruple Sudoku. So we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. We also have some quadruples clues in the grid, so those are these circles, and those tell us that the digits that are marked in the circle have to appear at least once in the four cells immediately surrounding that circle. So here we have to have a 2, a 6, and a 9, and then we could also have a second 2, 6, or 9, or we could have some other digit, like we could have 2, 3, 6, and 9 if we wanted to. There are also between lines, that's these pairs of circles that are connected by a line. Whenever you have one of these, the digits on the line connecting the circles have to have values in between the values that are in the circles attached to them. So for example, we know these cells are 1, 2, 3, and 4. These digits have to be in between these ones. So these are 1 and 4, and these are 2 and 3. So this quadruple is 2, 3, 4, and 5. We can eliminate 2 and 3 here and place them here. So this digit, in order for these to be between, has to be lower, so that will be a 1. And now there will be a 1 in one of those cells, and there will be also a 1 here, because this quad has to have a 1 surrounding it. So because there's a 1 in one of those cells, 1 doesn't go there, so we can place a 1. 3, 4, 5, and 6 in this quadruple. 4 and 5 are going to be between 3 and 6. 6, 7, 8, and 9 here, 7 and 8 are between 6 and 9, 4, 5, 6, 7 here, five, 4 and 7 are, or 5 and 6 are between 4 and 7. Now we need to place a 7 around this quadruple, it can't go in these cells because of the 4, 7 pair, so it must go there. And we also need to place a 3 around this quadruple, it can't go in these cells because of the 3, 6 pair, so it goes right there. 4 around this quadruple can't go in these cells because there's a 4 in the region, so it goes in one of these, and that makes this a 1 and makes this a 4. We need to place a 3 in this region, and there are 3s already in row 4 and row 5, so 3 must go here. So the remaining cells in the region are filled with 1, 2, 8, and 9. So that's not a 1, and that's not a 1 because of the 1 right there. So our 1 around this quad goes right there. We need to place an 8 and a 9 around this quadruple. This cell is already taken up, so this will be an 8-9 pair, and then these last two digits in this row will be 2 and 5. Okay, we need to place a 7 in this region. 7 sees these cells, so 7 must go right there. That makes this our 2 to make sure that we have 1, 2, and 3 here. Now, in this row we're still going to need a 2, an 8, and a 9. And to finish this row, we need a 4 and a 1. Those are now taken care of. Here we need 5, 6, 7, and 8. 7 and 8 can't go in those cells because of the 7, 8 pair there. And then these will be 7 and 8, meaning that in order for these to be in between the ends of the line, that has to be a 9. So those are now going to be 2 and 8, but because of this 3 we placed earlier, we have a 2 there. So that will be an 8, that will be a 2. And that makes this a 7, it makes this an 8. Now vertically here, we still need 4, 5, and 6 to finish. This can't be 5 or 6, so that must be our 4, which places another 4 here, and a 5 or 6 here. Now, this digit has to be in between these two ends, right? So this digit has to be the low end, but it can't be 1, 2, 3, or 4. So the only thing it can be is 5, if that's a 6. And that resolves all of this, and the 4 there also resolves that. So now here in... This vertical we need a 2 and also a 3 and a 9 to totally finish the column. Here we need 5, 7, and 8. 5 can't go in these cells, so it goes here. And here we need 1, 3, and 9. 9 can't go in those cells, so it goes there. And by the way, the 9 can't be in this cell, so that's a 6, and that is a 9. And we can eliminate 9 there. In fact, because we need a 9 in one of these cells to finish this quad, it must go in that position. This 7 here gives us an 8, which resolves this, and in turn, that resolves this. In this column, I need 4, 5, and 6. This can't be 4 or 5, because there's a pair in the region already, so that's a 6, and then this is a 4 or 5. Here, I am going to need... I don't think I can quite do that yet. Okay. So here I need, vertically, I need a 5, and I need an 8 and a 9 to finish the column. So they go there and there. 
And in this row, I'm going to need a 7 and a 9, which go in these two positions. And to finish this region, I now need a 1, a 7, and an 8, which go in these positions. To finish my 2, 6, 9 quad, I have to place a 6 somewhere. It can only go there. And so now this is definitely going to be a 4. These will be 1, 2, and 3. Neither of these can be 1 because there are 1s in both of the columns. So that's a 1, and this is a 3. Now these two cells, I'm going to need a 2 and a 6. And I know which way around those go. And these will be 6 and 9 in that order. The 2 resolves this into a 3 and a 2. And these cells, I need 1, 2, 4, and 8. And Sudoku is going to take care of that for us. Now here I need 5 and 7. That resolves this to 4 and 5, 4 and 5. I need a 1 here and a 3 here. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Around and Around. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to solve it yourself, the link to solve is in the description below this video. Enjoy, and I will see you next time.